Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a background from a PowerPoint image. So I have an example on the screen here of, an, of a graphic that I took from the internet. You can see that it has a white background. What I'm trying to do is to make it look more like this one, which has a transparent background. So you can see that when I overlap it with other items on the screen, the background is transparent. So the first thing I'm going to do is go search for an image on Google Images. I'm searching for a laptop computer. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different clip art pictures. Now, if you want to make sure that you're doing this legally, you go to the usage rights under tools and choose Creative Commons licenses. So this means that these graphics are not under any kind of a copyright. So I'm going to pick something from the list. Let's try this one here, which is a kind of a blue background. Now you notice when I hover, we have the pixel numbers in the bottom left corner of the picture. It says this is 3,100 pixels wide, so it's fairly high resolution. If I visit this page, I will get the high res. For this demonstration, I'm just going to copy this image directly from its thumbnail, which is much less high. Now let's switch back into PowerPoint, and I'm going to go ahead and choose a new slide. So let's pick a slide background that has some nice color to it so we can see what we're trying to accomplish here. As you can see, when we put this picture in, we have this blue background. So let's enlarge the picture a bit. Now, if I want to get rid of this blue part around the edge, I go to the Format Picture. So I've selected the photo, click on Format Picture, and then over here on the left side is Remove Background. Now, if you're lucky, it'll do all of the removing for you. You can see the purple in the background area is the part that's going to be hidden. What we're trying to create is called a mask, which will let the part that is in the main feature of the picture to show through. Now, if I were to just click Accept Changes, you're going to see that it does a fairly poor job of creating a transparent background. So I'm going to press Control-Z on my keyboard, and that will take away the effect. So let's try this again with a little more finesse. I'm going to have the picture selected, go up to the Format Background, and then choose Remove Background again. This time, I'm going to do a little more precision. I'm going to select the first icon, which says Select Parts to Keep. Now, anywhere in the picture where you see a purple overlay over the graphic that you want to keep, you just draw your pencil. So I'm just going to do a very short pencil stroke, and you can see that it picked up the whole region. And let's see, uh, maybe over here on the left part of the shield, and that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and choose Keep the Changes. And we've got ourselves kind of a jagged looking edge to it. This one didn't come out as well as I would have liked. But you can see when I move this picture around that the background stays transparent. Let's do another example. I'm going to put in a square on the page. So I got this red square and I'm going to right click. Let's try sending this backward. And so now when you can see that I overlap this, this computer, uh, the transparent background is working. My name is Shad Sluter and I'm a professor of computer science at Grand Canyon University. So if you like to learn how to program or to use your office tools better, then make sure you subscribe. We'll see you soon.